and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. When I was a kid, I didn't have multiples of figures. I only had basically one of each figure. Now, as an adult, as a collector, um, and I have my, my collection out here and I have them displayed, uh, it looks a lot better when you fill them up with action figures. So I decided to get more action figures. Then one day I was on one of the Facebook Star Wars groups, Star Wars Collectors groups, and I happened to see a collector's idea, and I really liked it. The idea is this. Put it in a shadow box. It's actually Disney tea. It's a tea box for the, uh, looks like Alice in Wonderland. And it had all this Alice in Wonderland art on the side. The top here, and I just decided to paint it all black. I don't need to paint the back, the, this back part. Nobody's gonna see it. But first, I think it needs a theme. Rather than just putting random figures, what theme should I use? First, let's check out the figures that I have. All right, let's see what figures I have that we could use as a theme. All right, what do we have here? We have an IG-88, we have a Snaggletooth, a Greedo, a Lando and Skiff, Emperor Palpatine, Prune Face, another Lando, Admiral Akbar. Here's Lobot, Lando Calrissian, an Ugnaught. Hammerhead, Dengar, two Leia Bosch, and uh, Bespin Han. Hmm, what is a theme that I could create in my shadow box? You know, honestly, the the best theme I think I could do is Cloud City because I have how many figures here that were in Cloud City? We have one, two, three, four. So let's see how many figures I can fit inside. Hmm, that's an extra space. What could I use? What else could I use? Hmm. Well, I guess those are good. Uh, maybe I could use a an IG-88 or a Dengar. Um, because technically they were all looking for Han Solo, so... IG-88 wasn't at Cloud City, but it is an Empire Strikes Back character, so maybe I could just put them there anyway. Put them there anyway? Okay, that fits. I do have a little bit of paint that I got on here, so I need to scrape this off. And the glass is very dirty, so I need to clean the glass. I'm gonna scrape this excess paint off that's on the glass first. I think I'm gonna have to use my fingernails because it looks like this scraping glass. It's not even glass. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's plastic. I got the excess paint off. Now I need to clean the glass. Plastic. It looks much better. Now that I have this, the clear plastic cleaned, I need to decide what I want to put as the backdrop. Because if I just put the figures in here and it's in the box, it's kind of boring. So I need a really nice background. And since this is um, mostly Best Bin with an extra, or Cloud City, I figured I'd just do a Cloud City backdrop. This is the Ralph Macquarie concept art.
Now I need to put some double-sided sticky tape to get it to stay up. Now that I have the tape on, I'm just going to set this in here. Okay, I'm going to push it down. All right. Oh, maybe I can add another figure. Maybe the Dengar Bounty Hunter. Oh man, Dengar doesn't exactly fit. Maybe if I, let's do this. So it looks like he's posing. There we go. All right, that looks good. I like it. it makes for a nice display. Hmm, now where to put it? Hmm. Hmm. How about right there? One little snag. The box does not have a hook for hanging. What I'm going to have to do is put one of these on. Put it right there and hammer it in. Now I can hook it up on the walls. Excellent! This looks great. It's a fantastic way to display Star Wars action figures. And if you don't have any playsets that you can put your extras with, this creates interest in displaying Star Wars action figures. So if you happen to have any extras lying around, try this! Thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. You can also check out more of my collection at the Star Wars Obsessed blog.